Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I've learned about a wonderful gesture, our, our uh, Black Student Union and our Muslim Student Association, several other of our student leaders have organized uh, and would, I believe, like to take a knee during the singing of the national anthem today, which I think is a, a great gesture. However, a lot of people in the audience uh, may also be a little uncomfortable with doing that because of respect for our uh, military students and our veterans. We have people that uh, in the room that are uh, active military duty right now. So I would like to suggest, uh, and you do whatever you want, but I would like to suggest two things. I would like to suggest for us all to take the opportunity to show solidarity with our students uh, for the causes that they want to represent today, the injustices that have happened to our uh, African-American youth in this country, what's happening to our DACA students, uh, all those kinds of injustices. If you would like to take a knee uh, with our students, I'm going to allow a minute at the beginning for us all to take a knee, if you're comfortable, together in solidarity. Uh, and that way, then we'll do the then we'll do the Star Spangled Banner and you can take a knee during that or uh, stand like you normally do. So I would like to do two of these things. So first, let's uh, all um, take a moment of silence and get on our knees if you want to and pay respect for the injustices gone on that have been going on in our country. Thank you very much. And students, you can see there's a lot of solidarity in the room. A lot of people stand with you on your cause. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight For the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in air night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to invite you all to move forward just a little bit because we've got some folks at the back of the room who are right up against those drummers. <laughs> we need to give them a little bit of space. My name is Jill Purdy. I'm a longtime faculty member here and interim executive chancellor for academic affairs. I'd like to thank the Curtis High School drumline for their performance today. Go Vikes! 
I'd like to thank the Lincoln High School Drumline and their director, Peter Briggs. Go Abes! Now I want to introduce someone who represents a partnership that is very special in a growing number of ways to the future of UW-Tacoma. Please welcome Bill Sterud, Chairman of the Tribal Council of the Puyallup Tribe of Indians. Thank you. I guess you can hear me. Honor and a privilege to be here today. Freedom of speech is one of our hallmark characters, just making that statement. I'd like to say, welcome you to the Peel Preservation. It's been our land since time immemorial. I love the purple and gold. Hardcore dog fan since I've been a boy. <laughs> Went there during 72 and 74 during the sunny six killer era. Many of you probably don't even know who that is. Yeah, there we go. A little dog talk. Excuse me while I whip this out. It's a native ribbon shirt that I was given as a gift because they know I'm a hardcore dog fan. Well, before we begin, I'd, there's a group of people here, whether they're here, whether they're Fort Lewis, whether they're wherever, our veterans. Each and every one of us deserves to thank them for their service, their time, and what they've had to do to sacrifice for us. And I'd like to uh, hear an applause for these people. Really? Woo. So if I may uh, uh, say a little prayer. And I don't know what we all believe in, but many of us believe in some form of prayer. And I'm going to try to bring that good feeling into the people that are here today. Grandfather, you honor all of us. Join us in this blessed day. Help these beautiful young people as they move forward in their lives, their education, and their futures. Grandfather, help them with your wisdom. Let them see the importance of each and everyone's future, each and everyone's life that's going to take place with these young people. How they can forge their new power into a great new world based on love, freedom of speech. Grandfather, let their young minds understand the environment the relationship between Mother Earth, clean air, clean water. Let them be aware of the many species that face extinction today, that in your lifetime, it'll be up to you people to make sure that we do have clean air, clean water, and the wonderful, beautiful animals that exist on our Earth today. Grandfather, our world is now in these people's hands, and young people like them throughout the world. Let them have the wisdom, the proper wisdom. Let them know that. Let them be powerful. Let them be strong in a good way, grandfather. And our world will be in good shape. One more thing, grandfather. Will you please let the UW football team go undefeated? <laughs> yeah. 
Thank you. Thank you so much, Bill, for all of those prayers. Yeah, please have a seat. We certainly appreciate you coming here each year to bless the new school year and wish good fortune upon all these wonderful students here. We will pledge to respect these Puyallup tribal lands on which our school is built, and we'll do our best to honor the land and your tribe's enduring culture through our diligent attention to educating these fine young people with integrity and appreciation for social justice and environmental sustainability. Thank you, Bill. So good afternoon. I don't know if I've even introduced myself yet, but uh, my name is Mark Pagano, and I am honored to be the chancellor of the University of Washington Tacoma and the very good fortune of having also had the privilege to kick off my third autumn quarter now with this annual fall convocation. Convocation is a special day in the life of the University of Washington Tacoma. On this day, we come together as one, unified in purpose and bound together in purple pride at this beautiful spot, almost this beautiful spot. We were supposed to be out in the beautiful spot in the middle of campus but it's beautiful in here when it's raining this hard. In this beautiful spot in the center of our campus, and now your campus too for all you new students. This is your campus too. So first I'd like to recognize the hardworking and dedicated staff and faculty at UW Tacoma, many who are here today among you. Look around you and take a moment, I can't ask them to stand up so you'll have to wave your hand, but look around you and take a moment to thank all the dedicated people who work at the UW Tacoma. Faculty and staff, show who you are. They are here to help you succeed and they mean business. I have a few special guests, all of you are special guests, but I have a few uh, dignitaries, I'll call them dignitaries, I'd like to introduce. First of all, our new Vice Chancellor for Student Enrollment Services, Mintha Hines Wilson. You want to stand? Why? <laughs> Vice, Vice Chancellor for Advancement, Josh Knutson. Josh, right back there. Our, our new Vice Chancellor for Finance Administration, Ty Minkler, right up here, Dr. Ty Minkler. Our Interim Executive Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, Dr. Jill Purdy, who you met. Our Assistant Chancellor for, for Equity and Inclusion, Deirdre, Dr. Deirdre Renour. Renour. Our Assistant Chancellor for Strategy and Assessment, Dr. Bonnie Becker. Our Assistant Chancellor for Community Engagement, Dr. Linda Isham. And the Dean of her School of Interdisciplinary Arts and Sciences, Ann Bartlett. And our Dean of our Milgard School of Business, Howard Smith. Dean of our Institute of Technology, Dr. Rajendra Kati. And I'm not sure if she's here, but our new Dean of the School of Education, Rachel Indu. And our Director of Social Work and Criminal Justice Program, Diane Young. And our Director of Nursing and Healthcare Leadership Program, Sharon Fott. And our Director of the Urban Stud Studies Program and Chair of the Council of Deans and Directors, Ali Madaris. Thank you all, and thank you to all the faculty and staff who are here supporting this event. Well, I'll just, I know it's getting warm in here, so I'll try to go quickly. Uh, but I wanted to explain to you what a convocation is. You know, a lot of the new students, a lot of the 
old students might not know what a convocation, a lot of us might not know what a convocation is. But a, a convocation is the coming together of people in answer to a summons. That sounds ominous, doesn't it? <laughs> well, here we are. What summoned you? And you might say, what well, was that series of emails, those relentless emails that I got uh, saying I had to be here today. But I'm thinking about deeper than that. Why even were you on that email list? Why are you really here at this time and this place? Why are you really here? Who or what really summoned you at your core? Well, I think it depends on the perspective you're looking at. First of all, our students, they summon us, summons us to come here and provide an education that will transform their lives. And as it says up here, to empower them to achieve their dreams. And we, the faculty and staff, are happy to step up to the plate and make that happen for you. Faculty summon you students, you students, all of you, to come to class, do your homework, and always be prepared. And we hope you will rise to the occasion and conduct yourselves in that manner. But each of us have an inner summons, some expectation for what we want to get out of our hi higher education journey, whether it be through an academic program or as a career for some of our faculty and staff. We all need to know what that inner, inner summons is. But that inner summons can pave the way for your success. Now, I don't make any claims to have any special wisdom. I'll leave that up to uh, our tribal chair and our academic vice chancellor, our deputy mayor, uh, the other uh, smart people on the stage here. But I have been around the block a few times. I'm older than many of you in the room, and I do have a, a wee bit of things that I've picked up. So let me give some of you those pointers. Doesn't mean you have to follow them, there's just a few pointers. First, open yourself up to change, okay? Because you don't know what's gonna happen next. You cannot know where your journey will end, but you can be sure it won't end here. You're gonna go on and do other things. Second, commit yourself to learning together. Powerful and successful people never work alone and never are afraid to ask for help. Thirdly, stand on the shoulders of those who've come before you. I know you've heard this before. They made the mistakes. Let them make the mistakes and you learn from those. Fourthly, recognize that not everyone agrees with you on everything or maybe for some of us anything, but that's okay. Seek out and strive to understand alternative viewpoints. Alternative viewpoints are a good way to test your own views on things. So strive to do more of that while you're at UW-Tacoma. It's a safe place to do those kinds of things. And finally, trust yourself. Trust your own instinct. You can do this. You can and you will find your own voice. And you can learn, hopefully, to hear the voices of others. This is your time to shine. So welcome to the University of Washington, Tacoma. And now, let me introduce a good colleague to the University of Washington, Tacoma, our Deputy Mayor for the City of Tacoma, Ron Tom, who will, Robert Tom, who will welcome you to our beloved city, Paradise. Thank you very much, and uh, welcome to Tacoma. How do you love it? I really appreciate uh, being here today on behalf of the city of Tacoma. I know the mayor wishes she could be here with you as well because she, just as I do, uh, believe you're not just a part of Tacoma, you're the very heart of Tacoma. There is nothing more important to any of us in leadership positions, be it at the university, be it in business, be it in government, than you and your success because your success is our success. And so when I look out at all of you, I'm a relatively new father. I have a 10, a six, and a one and a half year old. And as a parent, there's nothing more special than the opportunity and the future of your kids. And you not only represent the future of your families, I'm very, very much uh, of the mindset, you're gonna be the reason why Tacoma is a world-class city in the future. So I thank you on behalf of the city of Tacoma. Thank you.
There are many things that we're trying to do as a city to make sure we have the right type of community um, that we want you not only to go to school in, but we want you to start your business here, start your family here. We want you to be the future of our community here. So it is my job. Every day when I go to job, I try to make sure the quality of life here is good and that folks like you stay here. And so I, it's a ticking clock. So I hope you're having a wonderful time as you go to school here. I know you have a tremendous family in the UW family, but I want you to know your city supports you, your community supports you, and anything you all need, we just go through the chancellor, through your board, and they come to us and ask us to support you. And, and in the time that I've been here in the city, no one has made a bigger impact in this community than the University of Washington Tacoma, no one. And so you should take that very proud because you have that legacy in your hands now. And so I look forward to seeing great things from all of you in the future. I hope you have a wonderful year. And I too hope the dogs go undefeated. So thank you very much. Have a great day. So hello, Huskies. Okay, wake up, come on, get with it. Hello, Huskies. Right on. My name is Mintha Hines Wilson, and some of you know me as Miss M. And like you, I am new to the University of Washington Tacoma family. I arrived here in August, and I serve as the Vice Chancellor for Student and Enrollment Services. So you've heard from a lot of, oh, woohoo, thank you, my staff, right on. You get a raise, you get a raise. <laughs> So I believe I have the best job on campus. So the staff and student and enrollment services are on hand to help students get connected and to develop a sense of belonging. So I was pleased to meet several new students during orientation and I'm excited to get to know so many more of you as we get to know each other on this journey and as we venture into the quarter and the year to come. So whether you're a commuter student or you reside on campus, I invite you to become acquainted to, with the campus community and the people who work here. So there are a number of staff individuals, there are a number of faculty folks, some are in their regalia. There are a number of student leaders, activists, and others who really, really are excited to have you join our community. And I want to emphasize that this is the time to make friends, get involved, and engage in learning without limits. And most importantly, this is our community. So with that, I'd like to say just one more thing. Go Huskies! So you'll see me on the campus from time to time. You'll receive a few email messages from me from time to time. Feel free to come on by, introduce yourself, stop by the office, and we can also perhaps arrange a time to get together for coffee. So, it is my pleasure to introduce to you an individual who has great presence on this campus, a notable leader, and someone that I think you will also take the time to get to know over the course of your time with our community. I know her well, and you will too, and this is your Associated Student Body President, Arwa Duba. <laughs> Hello, y'all. Sorry, I'm sick, so if I start sniffing on the mic and you hear it like this, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't help it. Okay, so um, before I start this amazing speech that I wrote at 9.30 in the morning today, <laughs> I did. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I really, I want to honor the land that we are in. This is a tribal land, and I always tell my fellow board members in the Senate that we have to think about that as we enter these classrooms, as we use this facility, so um, I really want to honor that. Um, second, I want to honor, do one more thing. Um, I want to thank the a group of students that I represent here. Um, they are our veteran students, and I want to thank them for their service. And uh, yeah, and then now we're off to this amazing speech that I wrote for all of y'all. Stay inspired. Good afternoon, fellow Huskies. My name is Arwa Muhammad Dubbad, and I am your ASUWT president. I want to welcome each one of you, the returning students and the new students, to our beloved campus, the University of Washington, Tacoma. The new school year is always an exciting time and a hopeful time, 
The energy and the vibe of this campus was especially amazing on Wednesday. That was till we attended class and then read the syllabus and were reminded of the intense workload that we have for the next nine weeks. When balancing class and your many other commitments gets difficult, I want you to not doubt yourself and your abilities to succeed in college. That is something very common in the first generation college students experience. This feeling that you don't belong in higher education. I am here to tell you that you do belong in higher education, that you are not alone on this campus. Whenever you start to doubt your phenomenal intellectual abilities that were made to thrive on this campus, I want you to look yourself in the mirror and remind yourself why you chose higher education. The many reasons that led us through the doors of this campus, whether it is love for education or because of the higher economic satisfaction that we all hope one day to achieve, you belong here. I wrote a little poem. <laughs> I wrote a little poem to remind you that we all want you to succeed here. Roses are red, violets are blue. You are Michelle Obama smart, and you belong here too. The values that hold us together, not just here at UW-Tacoma, but also the other two campuses, UW-Seattle and Bothell, are called the Husky Principle. These principles serve as the foundation of excellence in higher education. As a member of the University of Washington community, students strive to practice high standards of honesty and integrity, respect the dignity and rights of all persons, support freedom of thought and expression, pursue ongoing intellectual and personal development, engage in critical thinking and discovery, improve our university community and the world. Fellow Huskies, I wish you a year free of turbulence in your academic and personal life. But when the turbulence arrive and the roads becomes rocky, I want you to hold on tight because the light at the end of this tunnel is bright with your future and success. Thank you. Thank you, Arwa. That was beautiful. How about it, students? Let's hear it one more time for Arwa. Well, we are just, just about finished here. Uh, and remember earlier when I told you to you know, stand on the shoulders of others because let them make their mistakes before you? Well, we've made a big one today here. Uh, we've lost the pins. <laughs> Uh, as you all know, uh, we moved the ceremony from up the hill down to here very quickly. I was so proud of us for getting it all figured out on the fly, but somehow we lost the pins. And this is uh, one of my favorite parts, but we're going we're gonna to make it through it. This is one of my favorite parts, is when we pin you, uh, and that pin signifies that we've made a commitment to you, and then you made a commitment to us to do what I've asked you to do. And I can't show you because it's underneath here. Well, I can show you. I got my pen on right here, like flashlight. I got my pen on. I wear it every day. I take them with me wherever I go. I got them everywhere. And I want you to do that too, because it's that significance. Okay? Why are you? Did you know where the pens are? Oh, we found the pens. Yeah. Wow! Oh. Yeah. I knew we couldn't have made a mistake. Yeah. So. That being said, I'm really glad I get to do this final little part because we uh, joined together with our alumni association this year and some of our uh, advisory board members. So let me read the names. I don't know though if it's gonna work like we, in fact, I know it's not gonna work like we planned, uh, but we planned is to have a pinning line and the following individuals, we're gonna pin you, so I'm gonna read their names. But I think, where, where is Brianna? Right here. Brianna, how are we gonna get the pins to everybody? Later on in the day? Okay, we're going to get them to you later on. So just stay around here. Uh, we're going to tell you about the rest of the event, and we'll get those pins to you. But let me read the names of our alumni. So, Jerol Anovuo. Yeah, Jerol. Yes. Rich Binion from the Milgard Executive Board. Zvan Casanova from the Alumni Council. Yay. Myra Griffin, Nursing Advisory Board. Woody, Woody Hodge, IAS Advisory Board. 
Burkan Karoglu, our past ASUWT president. Yay, Tehran. Welcome back. Janet Rumbeck, UW Tacoma Alumni Council. Thank you, Janet. Herb Simon from our Board of Regents. Mark Starnes from the UW Tacoma Advisory Board. And David, Wil David Winters from the Milgard Executive Board. Uh, and then some of our staff were gonna help as well. So thank you all for being here today. Uh, I'm sorry we can't do the pinning ceremony in the, the regular way, but we would ask you now, the students, to participate in the barbecue, and I'm not exactly sure how it's gonna work because you're actually standing where I'm supposed to tell you to go.